Hi, it's Christina. If you click this video, I'm going to guess that you or someone you know is struggling with eczema. Now, don't worry, you're not alone. Eczema affects millions of people every year and as it happens, I am one of them. I have struggled with itchy skin my entire life and I always had the question of where does eczema come from? To give you some background about me, I come from a huge family. So I have brothers, I have sisters, and none of them got eczema in the same way that I did. As I got older, that became a huge question that I had in my head, and I knew that I wanted to go out all on it. I wanted to find out why I had eczema. I wanted to find out where it came from. For me growing up, I had this huge question in my head and I knew that I needed to fix it. So I went all out on it. I tried so many things, I looked at so many things and hard work does pay off because after years, I finally found what works and I got my skin clear. So where does eczema come from? I'm gonna tell you about that in this video because not a lot of people know this and I had no idea because you can't see it, but do me a favor, okay? Look at your skin. Like just pull up your arm, your hand, look at your skin. Now. You don't see it, but there are actually millions and millions and millions and millions of bacteria on your skin. And they've actually had studies on this, like recent studies from like last year, Harvard University, and there were scientists who found out that the bacteria on your skin has a lot to do with why you get eczema. And this bacteria, it's so specific, we're actually gonna dive into it in this video. But if you're wondering right now what causes eczema or how you get it, then the short answer is that it's related to this bacteria. If you're interested in how this bacteria affects eczema or how it causes it, let me tell you, because if you or someone you know is dealing with eczema, then you might know it by different names, right? Like atopic dermatitis, contact dermatitis, scalp eczema, facial eczema, hand eczema, whatever the name, there's many different names. Mine was just eczema and it was really itchy, it was scaly, and sometimes I had like these little red bumps and I wondered, how does that bacteria make me break out in this rash or how does it give me dry skin? And if you're wondering about that, let me tell you something fascinating, okay? So they found out in a study, they took this bacteria, they dropped it onto the skin of healthy mice and they found out that the mice actually broke out and developed eczema after they dropped this bacteria onto their skin. So even if you've never had eczema before, or I should say especially if you've never had this before and you're just getting this red itchy skin now, this bacteria could be the number one reason for why you keep getting eczema. Let me tell you the name of this bacteria so you can know about it. So the name of this bacteria is called SA bacteria and I'm gonna put the name here for those of you who want the technical terms. Uh, personally, for me, it didn't really matter what the name was, uh, but what does matter is that the studies show that we all have this staph or SA bacteria on our skin, uh, but the problem and when it starts to lead to eczema and affect your skin in a bad way is when you have what they call an imbalance of that bacteria. And that's actually what they've seen in those studies. So they see that people with eczema tend to have an imbalance of this bacteria on their skin. And what they mean by bacteria imbalance is because we all have this bacteria on our skin, right? Like we all have it, it's normal to have. And when it's balanced, you won't have any breakouts. Your skin is going to stay clear. But when it is imbalanced, that is when it leads to eczema. And that's what they've been seeing studies on. Uh, because one big reason that this bacteria leads to eczema is that it's also responsible for the itching. Uh, I don't know if this ever happened to you or whoever you know that has eczema, but for me, when I would get breakouts, my skin would get so incredibly itchy. Like I felt like it was on fire and I thought that was normal and I thought I would never get out of it. Uh, but it turns out that this bacteria actually has a lot to do with that super fiery itch. In fact, they say it actually drives the itch. And what does that mean, it drives the itch? Uh, well, what it means is that it is one of the core reasons or the main reasons for why your skin is itchy. If you're following me on this, you might be wondering, how does that bacteria make my skin so itchy? Well, what it does, and if you're interested, let me tell you because this is fascinating. It's something I found out. So fascinating fact, what they found out, and they've actually done studies on this, is that they show that this bacteria that lives on your skin, okay, it's living right here, well, it releases a signal. And that signal goes into your brain and it triggers you to think 
that you're itchy even when you're not. Isn't that insane? That is crazy to me. Like those itchy nights, I was having those scratching moments. A lot of them are linked to this bacteria that is telling you and telling me to be itchy even when you're not. And that's why they talk about this chronic itch, like that chronic scratch that you get with eczema, how it's so abnormal, how even most people, you know, when they had it before, they just can't stand it. It's such a specific itch and a lot of it is linked to that overgrowth or that imbalance of that bacteria. Now, what do you think of that? Okay, so now you know what causes eczema and you know where it comes from. And if you're getting itchy, if you've never got eczema before, you know, this is the first time, these are signs that your skin rash could be caused by this bacteria imbalance. And this bacteria imbalance, it doesn't just happen for skin conditions like eczema. You can also see it in things like acne. There are studies that show that acne is mostly driven by a bacteria as well that causes you to have more oil and more redness and more inflammation that usually goes with pimples. Uh, there's also bacteria that they found in things like dandruff. Like if you've had itchy scalp, a lot of that is also linked to a yeast bacteria that causes that itchy scalp and can make your skin really itchy. Uh, I've had people who have that along with eczema and a lot of this, again, this is all bacteria imbalance on the skin and it can be fixed. I'm gonna tell you how to fix this because if you just figure this out, you might be like a little bit stressed out, but don't worry. This is where I spent most of my life and I can tell you some things that really worked because you know, my skin is better now is what I did after knowing all of this, everything I told you, that was what I decided to do. I decided to try to balance that bacteria on the inside as well as on the outside. And the general idea for me was instead of me focusing on creams, steroid creams, you know, topical steroids, oral steroids, all of these things, I had tried them and they didn't really work. So now is a good opportunity for me to focus on this bacteria instead and spend my time and my energy on stuff that would really work. So that's when I really went into how to do it. And it's very fascinating. If you're interested in that, let me tell you where to look. The best way that they say to balance all of that is to start with balancing things on the inside. And if you're still here watching, then you're probably smarter than most people. You've watched more videos than anybody else on this. And you've probably seen not just me, but you've seen other people talk about how the gut microbiome, the immune system is super important when you're struggling with eczema. And that's because the bacteria that's inside, when that's balanced, studies show that the outside and everything on your skin balances out as well. Not just for eczema, like I said, even things like acne, pimples, uh, dandruffs, those are also shown to be driven by bacteria, which makes you, know, you have all these things on your skin. Uh, so balancing all that out can also help your general skin to look a lot better, to look a lot clearer as well. Uh, so for me, when I put my energy into balancing things, properly in the right way, that's when I really saw the biggest change on my skin. If you're interested in getting into all this too, you are on the right path. Um, I know you are almost there. And I won't go into all this right now because it's kind of long, but like I said, I cleared my eczema, I helped myself, and now I help other people. So if you're wondering where to start, I have a guide where I help people go from eczema to flawless skin and I'll put it in my description. Go click it out there because I break down this whole process and I tell you how to balance everything and it will help you to get flawless skin. So go click that link, go get that guide. I think you would really like what I have to say there. If you've been here for a while and you're wondering what I'm up to, I actually gotta go. I'm in the middle of a really big skincare event. Uh, it's something that I started recently here in my city. Um, as you know, I do the online program, but I also started having groups of really interesting people who are fascinated with flawless skin. And we meet up and we just talk about, you know, skincare and a lot of times eczema related stuff too. Uh, so that has been what I've been working on. You know, I know some of you asked like what I've been doing. Uh, so that's why I've been a little bit slow to post on YouTube these days. If you watch this far, thank you so much please tell me what you think of all of this okay after watching all of this let me know did this video help you in any way I really want to know from you I do read your comments I go through them every morning I answer them and I love hearing from you so leave me a comment and let me know if this video helped you 
And if you want to get that guide, you'll find it in my description. Uh, but if you want to keep browsing my videos, here's a good one right over here.